Now photographers spend a lot of time on channels like this telling you about the times things went well. But what happens when things go bad? What happens when you forget to bring that vital piece of kit? Now it happens to all of us because nobody's perfect and it happened to me recently at Riot Cabaret in London. Traveled all the way from Portsmouth with all of my kit. I knew I'd be shooting ringside, so I packed my two bodies, my two lenses, my memory cards, my batteries. I packed my GoPro so I could record some footage from the top of my camera. And I knew I'd be taking some backstage portraits, so I packed my flash unit. I packed the battery for my flash unit. I packed the charger for my flash unit. I packed my transmitter for the flash unit but I forgot to take my modifier. I normally shoot with a nice Octavox, gives me nice soft portraits backstage, but I didn't have it. I had no modifier. I was just faced with the prospect of shooting bare bulb. But one piece of kit I always keep in my bag, my emergency item, and it saved me more times than I care to remember, is my five in one reflector. Bought it online, 15 pound off of eBay, 12 years ago, I still use it to this day and I'm gonna show you how I used it in this shoot with Sapphire Reed to get beautiful, softly lit portraits backstage. Now we were very lucky to be able to employ the services of Harrison Leon backstage as our mobile tripod, which is why you're here because I need a tool. Lovely. He held the light and he also held the translucent disc that comes in the middle of my reflector. The reflector is made up, like I said, it's a five in one reflector. It's got a gold side, a silver side, a black side, and a white side. But inside of that sleeve, it has a big translucent disc. And what that means is, is that light will pass through it, but it will diffuse when it passes through it. It should act as a softbox. So we've got this lovely little bit of space backstage. We've got the belt ready to go on because you're a new champion. That's why we need the new portraits. It's quite a grimy backstage area, which I quite like about this. Power pack goes on here. It's all on Harrison's shoulder. So he's holding that for me. We open up the reflector. There it is. It's got that gold side there. We take off the sleeve there. So the gold, the white, the silver, the black side of that reflector is all on that sleeve. So it's taken out. And in the middle there, as you can see, is this translucent disc. That means that light is going to be able to pass through it, but it should diffuse. So there we go, by getting Harrison to hold it further away, we should get a softer light source. And the closer that disc is to Sapphire's face, the softer the light source will be because the light will have had further to travel. You know, it should be diffusing through nicely, but the diffusion layer is closer to the face, which should give us a softer light source. Simple pose straight into the camera. We've got our first image here. Bit of aggression there into the camera, which is really, really nice. And we've taken a low angle to make her look really, really dominant in the picture, to make her look like a champion. So we've got our first few test pictures in here. We've managed to do a few simple poses and we've managed to turn the championship belt towards the reflector dish. And that means that we're getting that reflection off of the reflector dish, which means that that belt is gonna be really, really well highlighted, really, really well exposed in the photograph. And it's actually gonna be the point of interest. That's what I want uh, the viewer to really, really to draw their eye into. So I've got it low in the frame, it's nice and big in the frame, and it's nice and bright in the frame as well, so we can see champion. Now we've moved our light round, we're changing lighting styles. We get her to turn her head away from us, and we've got a really, really nice feel to the picture there. Unfortunately, because there isn't much, much light in this shot, we can't see the championship belt. So we make a small amendment by moving the light again back round this way. Brought Harrison in about 45 degrees round and turned the belt towards it. So the belt is facing straight towards where that light is. And then when we take the shot from this angle, we should see that the reflection is coming back and is giving us nice exposure so we can see the belt. So we've amended that from the last shot. Interesting point there, I asked Sapphire whether she was uh, babyface or heel in this federation that she just won the championship for. She said she was babyface. I mean, she's got a smile, so we've got to try and get some smiles out of her because babyfaces smile. Um, babyfaces look like they're happy and that they want to be there. So that's how we got these. And all I did was just ask her whether she's whether she's a baby face or a heel, and then she said sort of, yeah, really nervously. I said, well, come on then, give us a smile. God's sake, it's supposed to be a happy champion. Are you baby face in this promotion or? Yeah. Okay, so give us some smiles. <laughs> and we got, albeit, we got a reactive laugh there straight into the cameras. Drop that line in with the dialogue to get something a bit more natural. So we switch positions here, switch the light round to the side. 
coming in at roughly sort of 45 degrees. Got soft air looking straight towards us. And I'm nice and low. And we're zooming in really close here just to get a nice simple portrait looking straight into the camera. Nice confident look there. But with the light skimming across with that disc, we're getting nice diffused light coming through, which is giving us nice light across the face. So there's still tone, there's still tonality in there, but it's not as harsh as it would be if it was a bare bulb. Love showing them the images backstage when they come back on the camera. So now what we've done now is we're just doing a few bonus pictures with the hood. We're just trying to get something a little bit different, bringing the front of the, of the ring attire up in front of the face, the hood down so we can just see between the eyes. And you'll notice that there's no diffusion on this, on this, on this light now. We've, we've got rid of the disc completely. And we've gone into a situation as if we don't, if we'd only bought a bare bulb or if you only have a single like speed light without any diffusion on it. What that gives us is this hard light, really harsh light looking straight into the camera which gives us a completely different feel to the pictures. Really raw and really real, but because the light's really low and just over the eyes, we only get that harsh shadow underneath the hood. We can still see the eyes coming straight through. So it is still possible, even with just a single speed light without any modifiers on top to still get dynamic portraits backstage. The key to it is getting connection and creating composition within your frame but most of all having impact and that impact comes from the connection it comes from the expression of the performers you're working with hope you found this glimpse backstage helpful if you have you can give us a like leave a comment below subscribe tell your friends about it there's loads of videos that are going to appear i think around about here or maybe around about here i don't know who knows there's going to be loads of videos appearing around about here uh, that you can check out, portfolio reviews, all those kinds of things. If you are a photographer and you are looking to have your portfolio reviewed by a professional, I can do that for you. you can email me, portraitofwrestler at gmail.com. If you're looking to up your game with your lighting, you can do that. We've got a brand new website, nofussmust.com. It's got a load of free tips on there. You can download a free posing guide on there. And you can also subscribe to our beginner's guide to portrait lighting course, all on there, nofussmust.com. But until the next time, all the very best.